Hey, how's it going today? And I haven't made a Vegas Pro tutorial in a while. They've made a lot of changes. I'm currently working in Vegas Pro 19. I have to say, I'm just increasingly impressed with the direction Magix is taking in this program. They're really taking it into the next century or whatever. So, one of the things, I'm just going to do a tutorial about each feature as I kind of come along it. The one that I was most curious about was this Vegas Hub, and you've got to have the subscription to do this but it might very well be worth it especially if you're making a lot of YouTube videos and you're looking for a lot of stock footage now one thing I noticed is I think this is still although it's released I, I still think obviously there's some bugs in it but I think in the long term this is going to be very convenient one of the things that'll allow you to do is upload footage from your phone which is fantastic I don't have that on my phone yet I was just seeing where I can get with it in Vegas so I'm just kind of exploring this as we go one of the things you got to do a lot of times is reset your view so I, a lot of times I'll go to default view which is this is the default view which I like it's really getting slimmed down and streamlined and yet under the hood there's a lot of things but one of the things that's weird is you got to go into view and you got to go into here a lot because that's where all this was so I, I saw this button up here but it just said log out and I was like what I didn't even know that's all this is, is really log in and log out. I was thinking that they should have a button up here for just getting straight to it. But <laughs> Uh, are you sure you want to log out? No, I, I don't want to log out. I just logged in. So this is basically your log in, log out button. But then if you come into view, you got to go into Windows. And then it's down here for some reason. Now there's shortcut Control Alt 8 and Control Alt 9. So I'd imagine you'd be using these a lot. But what can happen too is you start running out of real estate with the, the more of these windows you open. But if I click Vegas Hub, Control Alt 8. Let's see if I can remember that. Control Alt 8. This opens up. Now I'm already, of course, logged in. If we go into Vegas content, there's all this stock footage that you can download, which is interesting, right? I mean, this is pretty convenient. I don't know. Let's look at what's in cinematic. I have no idea what's in all this stuff. How about these guys? This these two couples. You know what this all looks like to me? This sounds funny, but it's like they're you're making a uh, pharmaceutical commercial. <laughs> You know, because when they show people that are on uh, medications, you know, it makes like they're having a good time, like they're barbecued in the backyard, but the guy's got some horrendous disease, and then they say all the side effects at the end. So maybe that's a side effect one right here. So they'll show you a picture of this, like, right? These guys are all on, like, some kind of horrendous pharmaceutical, but this is the video they're going to show you. So when you're on here, then, and you pick your footage, you just go uh, download. One of the fantastic things about Vegas is now it has ProRes, so that's incredible. When I, one of the things I struggled struggled with with Vegas for the longest time was it didn't have ProRes and I was was it DaVinci Resolve did have ProRes I was except if you had a PC actually it's fantastic that that Vegas has ProRes now this brings Vegas in line with everybody else now so you can download it as that but I'll, I'll just do mp4 and then you click download then you get this message here Vegas content downloads can be found in the hub explorer well, that's fantastic my only question is where's that <laughs> So you got to go, look, you got to go back. What was it? Control eight, uh, control alt nine. Is that right? Uh, it's under windows. See this, I think should almost be renamed view or something. Cause this button should be more accessible because it lets you get to so much more, but I can try to remember the, cause now we're going to get, start getting crowded with all this. If I click the hub explorer, I've been downloading some other stuff. There's this one. And here you can set a location where you want it on your computer. I already did that. And you just scroll over these and they tell you what they are. Okay. But on this, watch what happens. This is interesting. Okay. So I'm going to, I want to close out of that one. Watch what happens if I just drag this. It would seem to me that you could just drag this to the timeline. But watch. Yes. Hey, it worked. You know, the last time I did this, I got like a a green screen. Hey, look, this is something everybody does. Hey, let's go get the bikes and light our flares. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know what's funny is I did this and I got I got a green screen. Let's see, can I just drag this one? Hey, they're all coming down. Oh wait, that's see, look, that's a little weird, right? So there's some weirdness going on. See that? And see how there's something. It's So that's why I say that. I think they're still working out the bugs. But another thing I noticed you could do is like, let's say on this one, if you were in the content, there's this option to sync. 
So I think that has to be done. I think there's some issues with getting the content on here. I don't know why you can't just drag it onto the timeline yet. I'm sure that'll be fixed in a future thing, but you saw I was able to at least get this one on there, right? So this is where the content's supposed to be as far as I know. If I, let's say I go into my folder, Vegas Clips, Vegas Content, that's where I want it stored. As far as I know, it's all, see it does this sync. So it says it's uploading. I'm not sure where it's uploading to. Is it uploading to me? I don't know. I thought it was on the cloud already. So it's a, a little confusing. I'm not sure where it's uploading to exactly. But let's let it do its thing. Now, is it back in that folder? So these all got the check marks. What if I try to drag it now? No. So I guess you've got to refresh my I got these three clips I assume these are on the cloud what if I go into import media and go into where I have this stored on my desktop I have it biggest clips yeah I'm guessing that once you hit the sync it then downloads to your hard drive Although it says it's uploading, I think it's actually downloading. But then this one, if I click sync, let's hit sync. Files are in sync. So I don't know why that folder is not. It's, it shows the add icon. See, I can't add it. So it seems like it's a little a little weird. I think they've got some things they got to work out on this. I think you can slowly get your footage on. I think eventually once they get the bugs out of it, it's going to be fantastic. So, But I don't think it's quite there yet. But so far, so good. I definitely think they're on the right track with this. So, And unfortunately, if you come here to help and you go to contents, and it's still saying Vegas Pro 18. I really think they need, with all the advances that they've done, they really do need to update this so that it's clear what the workflow is on this. But I think once you play around with it, you'll eventually figure it out too. So I was hoping that this would be a little more straightforward. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching anyway.